In today's video, we're going to be looking at how you can blur and track almost anything in DaVinci Resolve. Now, if you're visiting for the first time, welcome. My name is Duan. It's do on to others what you want, do on to yourself. And if you'd like to follow along, there's a download link in the description area where you can get the footage that's in today's project. All right, guys, here on my timeline is two clips that we're gonna be tracking today. Uh, it's one with a car driving that uh, has a number plate sticking out. So we wanna get rid of the number plate. And the second one is a guy walking through the woods. And here you can see there's a little bit of a branch in front of his face. So that's gonna be a nice test to see how the Vinci Resolves handles that. So the first thing you need to do is go to your color page. In your color page, make sure that you go to the tracking tab over here first and make sure that your clip is on the first frame. So you can drag it as far left as possible. If it's already there, great stuff. Next, you wanna go to the masking tab over here and select the pen tool. Now we're gonna drag a mask around this number plate. So we wanna get in as close as possible. And the way to do that is you can either zoom in from here or you can either scroll up or down with your mouse. So this is nice and close, perfect. And now we can just go ahead and draw a border around your mask. If it's not done perfectly, it's not an issue because you can always just drag these points around after you've created the mask. So if you need to make any adjustments, you can do that afterwards. All right, so once the mask is around the number plate and you're happy with that, you can go to your effects tab on the right here. If it's not open, you can just select it and it's gonna open up a whole lot of different options. So we wanna go to the blur section over here and drag box blur onto the node that we just created. Now, it's a little bit foggy at the moment, but the way to correct that is just to deselect the blur alpha box here. And now you can see that we've got a nice box blur around the number plate. And now after we're happy with the mask that we created, we can go to the tracking tab. And now what we need to do is just select the track forward button and DaVinci Resolve will do its thing. looks like it did a really good job so let's just scroll through it and check it out oh, i can't see any issues or anywhere where the vince resolve messed up this is fantastic so we can see that the number plate is blurred out all the time so if you want the blur to blend in a little bit more you can just go to the mask tab and just soften it a little bit so that when if the mask do move slightly it's not so noticeable let's jump to the second clip and let's blur this guy's face now same thing go to the tracking window over here make sure we are on the first page go back to the masking tab now let's select the pen tool again so the way to draw a nice circle around his face is to uh, just click and drag that way it will create a nice round edge and so you want to do that all around his face so we've got a nice mask around his face. So we can go ahead and select the box blur and drag it onto his face. Same thing, deselect blur alpha. And now you can see his face is nice and blurred, but we do want to create a, a little bit of a softness around the edges just to make it blend a little bit more. So we can go ahead and just drag that um, just to make it blend nicely. Let's select track forward. Wow, DaVinci Resolve did a really, really good job. Let's just scroll through it and see. There you go. It's that simple to create masks and track it in DaVinci Resolve. If this video was helpful, please smash that like button. I'd really appreciate that. And if you would love to learn more about DaVinci Resolve or learn new tricks, you have to watch this video.